Join me and together we'll build my new Lego Death Star. What? We love seeing popular culture references throughout media. We see them and then we all get excited because we feel like part of a group. References have become such a normal occurrence that we almost expect to see them in whatever it is we're watching at this point. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Sometimes a reference can become so ingrained in popular culture that we may forget entirely that it even is a reference, which is a sign that it has evolved into a trope or pop culture norm rather than a mere reference. I do not want another single pop culture reference out of you for the rest of the trip, you understand? And most of the time we don't ever think about what started it or where it came from. And right now we are going to be looking at the history of one reference in particular. Hold on to your butts. What if I told you that this is actually a reference? What about this? And this? Oh, don't forget about this. That's right, the transformation sequence is used extensively in media. We can find one in almost every superhero movie out there in some shape or form. And in fact, it isn't even just confined to superhero cinema. This has become a pop culture norm. But what exactly gave creation to the sequence that has been referenced countless times throughout the years Here's a hint, it was a complete accident. To discover this, we have to go back to 1970, Japan. The superhero TV market began to gain popularity while Tsuburaya Productions' Ultraman franchise performed extraordinarily well. Toy producer Toru Hirayama brought forth the idea of a masked hero project with Shotaro Isonomori as the character designer. The series would then evolve to become the story of a transformed human designed after a grasshopper named Kamen Rider which premiered on April 3rd, 1971. At the start of the series, the main character, Takashi Hongo, played by Hiroshi Fujioka, would transform into Kamen Rider using the power of wind while he rode his motorcycle. During the production of episode 10, however, Fujioka, while performing a stunt, was thrown from his motorcycle in an accident and shattered both his legs. The ratings of the show were disappointingly low at the time and producer Hideyama and the team were thrown into a frantic state, unsure of where to go next. Do they recast Hongo? Do they scrap it and start the show over? Or do they just call it, cancel it entirely? Most of the staff voted to simply kill Hongo off and create a new character. But Hirayama shut the idea down, saying, We can't destroy the children's dreams of being almighty. So, their solution was to temporarily write the character of Hongo off and introduce a new temporary lead character, Hayato Ichimonji, Kamen Rider 2, played by Takashi Sasaki. Tusky was a popular actor at the time and was casted for his role by the production team, hoping that the ratings would be raised a considerable amount. However, Sasaki did not have his motorcycle license, so this meant that they could not film him on the motorcycle for the transformation sequences. They could just use a stuntman in the rider suit like they would for the rest of the bike action, but that would result in an unconvincing transformation, leaving viewers dissatisfied during the climax of each episode. They needed a new solution, something that they could actually film an unmasked Sasaki doing. And thus, the Henshin sequence was born. <laughs> By having him strike a pose or series of poses, his powers would activate and he would transform into his superhero suit. And from this point on would never go away in pop culture. When Fujioka healed and returned, the henshin sequence had already become so popular that they completely disregarded his initial bike transformation and created a brand new sequence of poses specifically for Hongo's common rider. <laughs> which itself has been referenced countless times to this day. In fact, Kamen Rider has been one of the most influential series to come from Japan throughout popular culture's history, and it's been responsible for the creation of references upon references, whether we realize it or not. Rider! 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 